Revelation chapter number 19 verse number 14 and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen white and clean now Christ is not coming back to earth alone on his second event when he came the first time he came by himself as a babe as a suffering servant he came but now the game has changed. He's coming as a conquering king. There will be no more spitting on him. There will be no more slapping his face. There will not be any piercing of his side. There will not be any more whipping him and beating him with a Roman flagran. And there definitely will not be any more crucifixion. He's coming back this time with the armies of heaven. And they will be riding white horses with white robes. Once again, we look at God's holy days on Yom Kippur. The priest had white robes. You can see how God's plan of salvation is wrapped up in his days. The scriptures let us know that we are priests of God. So if we are coming back with him and he is our high priest and we are priests of God, what other color should we have on but white robes? You see, that's what I love this thing because God set this up and everything he set up works so smoothly together. Let's read. Let's come over to Zechariah 14 chapter verse number 5 And ye shall flee to the valley of the mountains for the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Azal yea ye shall flee like as ye fled before the earthquake in the days of Isaiah king of Judah and the Lord my God shall come and all the saints with thee. Once again, God prophesied in so many places what's going to happen. Way back in the Old Testament, he gave explicit instructions on what's going to happen years later, hundreds of years, thousands of years later to show his sovereignty to show his omniscience to show his total control that's why he tell us don't worry that's why he tell us to don't fret that's why he tell us he has everything worked out so no matter what we may be going through no matter what we may be dealing with God is still in control it may be new to us, but it's not new to God. God, in the name of Jesus, we actually look on and have your way. Bless and help your people everywhere. Thank God. Amen.